Hershey Park is Pennsylvania's largest amusement park and is known for having one of the best roller coaster collections in the entire world. With Hershey Park being one of the country's busiest theme parks, they have to make frequent ride additions to their park to make sure the crowds are nice and spaced out, as well as adding something new for the people to enjoy. So in this video, I'm going to be predicting the next 10 years for Hershey Park. 2024 is an off year for Hershey Park, so in 2025, they're coming out with a SNS Scream and Swing. As we all know, Hershey Park is rumored to get an SNS Scream and Swing next year with the new construction going on in the amphitheater plot of land. And I think this would make a lot of sense for Hershey Park. Their only high thrill flat ride right now is the Claw, and the Scream and Swing just seems like the perfect fit. Nothing at Hershey Park is really like it, and it gives a great sensation of floater airtime that basically Candemonium only has. Overall, I think this would be a great addition to Hershey Park, and I think this is what they are going to be receiving next year. 2026 is when I see Hershey Park adding a family multi-launch coaster. Most likely something along the lines of Big Bear Mountain or Arctic Rescue. Hershey Park doesn't really have that many gaps in their lineup, but one big gap that they still have is a multi-launch roller coaster. And with all the family multi-launch roller coasters coming out in these recent years, I think Hershey Park will jump on the trend and add one of these. Also, last time they added a real family roller coaster was all the way back in 2015 with Laugh Track, and in 2026, it will have been 11 years since Laugh Track was added to the park, so I think a family multi-launching roller coaster just makes sense. 2027 will be an off year for Hershey Park. They just added an SNS Scream and Swing and a family multi-launch coaster, so now it's time to save some money and make some minor park improvements. This year, they'll beautify the landscape, add some more park benches, and just do the necessary things to make their theme park beautiful. I don't think anything major is coming in 2027 if they add the family multi-launch roller coaster in 2026. So overall, nothing really is going to happen in 2027, I feel like. It's just going to be an off year for the park. 2028 is when I see Hershey Park doing their next water park expansion. In this expansion, I could see them removing Wild Mouse and replacing it with a new slide complex, especially since the slide complexes they have right now have very long lines. Also, Hershey Park's water park can be very crammed at times, so having a water park expansion to kind of balance out the crowds a bit more would be very helpful. In this expansion, I don't think we will see the removal of Tidal Force or Lightning Racer, but rather just Wild Mouse and a bit of the area around it. In 2029, I could see Hershey Park adding a new dining location. And I'm not talking quick service, I'm talking more restaurant-like. I feel like more parks have been adding restaurants to their parks in recent years, and I think Hershey Park will follow up in 2029. They don't really have any dine-in locations. Closest thing I'd say they have to a restaurant is probably the food court or something like that, and like that isn't even close to a restaurant. So I think we could see Hershey Park adding a restaurant in 2029. Now, as for where this restaurant could go, I have a couple different areas in mind. First, I think they could turn Great Bear Catering into a restaurant, especially because it already has two floors. It is a pretty sizable catering area, and it's right up by Great Bear, of course, and it would be by the Triple Tower, Zoo America, and by the new SNS Scream and Sway. And Hershey Park already has a lot of catering locations, so I think this one could bite the dust and we could see a restaurant here. Another place I think we could see a restaurant is back by Lightning Racer. There is that gift shop building that has been sitting there dormant for a couple of years now, and I think they could add on to that building and transform it into a little bit of a larger building and into a restaurant. This back section of the park, Midway America, doesn't really have that many dining locations anyway. The closest dining locations you're going to get are Subway and Chickie and Pete's, which are all the way down the hill, so that's not really relevant. They used to have a Turkey Hill ice cream parlor, but they have since turned that into the Giant Size Season Pass Lounge. So there really isn't much dining options back here, and especially with the area by Lightning Racer not being the uh, biggest crowds all the time, I think they could draw more people to the back of the park with a restaurant. And so that is what I am thinking for 2029. 2030, it's a new decade, but sadly, I think it's going to be an off year for Hershey Park. Although it's a new decade and it's the perfect time to add a new ride to draw more crowds, it is Hershey Park's 124th anniversary, so I think most of this year they're going to be planning something big for 2031. This year, I could see some park improvements, especially in the Founders Way section of the park, as that section hasn't really been touched in recent years. You still have the place where the carousel once stood that's just been laying empty, and I feel like the area just needs updated a little bit. Not much, just uh, some touches here or there. I think that is where their focus will be to get ready for the 2031 season and their 125th anniversary. 
coming in 2031, I'm predicting a Vekoma tail coaster. Now, this is kind of a hot take, I guess. As for where this would be in the park, it would be in the tidal force plot of land. Although it seems like it could be too large to fit in this area, I think they can do it, and here is why. Looking at the map, you can see that to the left of Tidal Force is a pretty sizable dining location. And also, the splashdown area for Tidal Force is pretty large. That dining location there won't. You could just put some footers there. I don't think it would really interfere that much with the dining experience. You know, the Trailblazer Catering Storm Runner goes right by it. Tidal Force Catering Area Fahrenheit goes right over it. Although this isn't a catering area and it's more open, I think they could manage to fit the tilt coaster in here and just add some covers maybe over some spots in the path. This would, of course, be Hershey Park's big 125th anniversary edition, and there really wouldn't be anywhere nearby like it. Great Adventure is building a Super Boomerang this year, and that would be quite different from this even though it's the same manufacturer same trains this is a totally different ride experience i think the closest you're gonna find to this roller coaster would be iron menace at dorney park but even then it's not really that much of a similarity and i think they can manage to do it in 2032 i could see hershey park adding another new flat ride and the places i think it could be are in chocolate town depending on how big the family multi launch coaster I predicted earlier would be, then I could say that it is possible that they could fit a new flat ride in that plot of land. But I also think we could see a ride removal and then this flat ride replace that ride. And where I could see this happening is once again in Midway America because it is the least populated part of Hershey Park. If they would remove a flat ride, I would say it would probably be Music Express or like the Tiny Tracks area. In that area, I would say where it would probably be i don't think there's enough space by where the granny bugs are for a new bigger flat ride to be there and for what this flat ride could be i'm predicting that it would probably just be a simple spinning flat ride as the last flat ride they added was a massive scream and swing the second to last year is 2033 and i think this will be another off year for hershey park this is because they just added a flat ride and a new coaster so i think this is the perfect year for a break also, I think 2034 will be a big year for Hershey Park and their next edition. So yeah, nothing much going on this year. I don't think they're really going to do much other than some minor park improvements and plan for the big 2034 investment. 2034 is the last and possibly saddest year on my prediction. And this prediction is in fact Lightning Racer gets removed. I think this ride is going to get removed because it takes up a massive plot of land. This will be its 33rd year of operation, if I am correct. And also, I feel like there's just more stuff that Hershey Park wants to put in this area to improve their park. And I'm going to pitch my predictions for what I think is going to go in this area. I think that the first year Lightning Racer shuts down in 2034, I think there's going to be some sort of replacement water park wise, possibly another slide complex or some sort of like pool thing, I don't know, but some sort of water park expansion because this would heavily expand the water park. This would make the water park a lot bigger, but I don't think they're gonna use the whole plot of land for the water park. I could see the other half of this plot of land maybe sitting for a couple more years and then being replaced by a wild moose. This coaster would pay respects to wild mouse, which I predicted would be removed, earlier in this video and it would also be another new experience for hershey park hershey park has already worked with rmc in the past with wildcats revenge and they usually like to wait a while on a concept in uh before purchasing one and this is um pretty much 11 years 10 years ish after the wild moose gets announced so i would say that they would go for this coaster concept and i think this is what it would take up the remainder of the lightning racer plot of land I don't think this would happen in 2034, though. I think that will be another water park expansion because that is one of the most popular areas of Hershey Park. I do think we could see a wild moose at Hershey Park as of 2040. So that will about do it for my 10-year Hershey Park prediction. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I enjoyed making this video. It was really fun to make predictions and put this thing together. And I hope to see you guys in the next video very soon.